seen anything. Things, things are getting worse every day. In removing subsidy that people have benefited for years, you increase it by almost, you increase fuel by almost about 387 percent. A very essential commodity to the, to, the, to the people and you expect, and you expect that, uh, that thing not to have a uh, spiral effect on the on other, other sectors. Is Nigerian government ready for what is coming? Is Nigerians ready to make the right demand? July 29 protest is about good governance. Not about President Inobu should resign. Why didn't you tell the governor in your state to resign? Is he not collecting allocation? Why didn't you tell your local government chairman to resign? Are they not collecting allocation? Are they not part of governance? Are they not political office holders? Nigerians in different parts of the country are coming out to make demand concerning the state of the country. Why will you say President Nobu resign? Resign, resign, go where? Why do you want to collect his mandate from him? There has been a controversy concerning this. What's truly really going on? Let's discuss this. Just in 2024, the Nigerian Labour Congress and the Trade Union Congress embarked on an indefinite strike in June 3rd, 2024. This strike lasted for 48 days and was suspended on July 18, 2024. This strike had a significant impact on the country. With national greed, airports shut down, banks, schools, hospitals were affected during the strike. Nigerians were totally left on blackout for days on the effect of this strike. What was the demand? They were asking for the minimum wage to be increased. Their request was for the federal government to increase the minimum wage to 494,000 Naira, which the federal government said no, this morning it's too much. It's too much, right? The demand was there and they kept on going, going, going. Just of recent, the federal government approved 70,000 Naira as Nigerian new minimum wage. Now, let's talk about Nigerian minimum wage, 70,000 Naira. Let me give you an instance. We have the government-owned facility known as the Blue Line, as a train. The train is currently costing Nigerians riding this train 750 Naira for each trip. So, if you're going to Maotu to Marina, which is CMS, which we know as a Lagos Island, it will cost you 750 Naira to go. To come back, it will cost you 750 Naira. And let's take a um, working class, like a normal working day, Monday to Friday, which is five days in a week, and we'll have four, day, uh, four weeks in a month, right? So that, altogether, you, you'll be having about 20 days. 20 days. Then check 750 times two and four, 1,500 Naira. One five times 20, that means just on transport from Maltu to Marina, you are spending 30,000 Naira. Just coming from Maltu to Marina, your minimum wage is 70k. That's the minimum wage. And trust me, it's a minimum, though some in more than that. But on the average, we expect people to go home with 70,000 Naira, right? Let me keep the fact that they're coming from their house and they pay transport to get to Maltu for boarding the train. On the average, Nigerians currently eat. No Nigeria was, we, we, we eat nothing less than 1,000 naira right now. That's this. Just, I don't know. I want to manage. After all, is 
less than one dollar. Now you eat, you manage to eat 1,000 naira on a square meal. A normal human being is expected to eat at least three square meals, right? Now you're eating 1,000 naira times three. That's 3,000 naira on each day. No as a human being, we eat every day, right? True. Okay, if we should spend 3,000 naira as a normal, as a, as a normal meal, as a cost per meal on daily basis, 3,000 naira times 30 days. Do the maths. If my is correct. 90,000 naira. You have 90,000 naira, you have 30,000 naira for transportation. This is just a working class. You have family to take care of, you have your own personal needs to take care of. Come on. Let's even talk about clothing. To get a, a good, a decent dress here in Nigeria, you should, ha you should, you should at least have, on the average, like at least on the on average, twenty thousand naira for just a simple dress. I will stop here for now. To continue, to continue. <laughs> are, are you getting the point now? Are you getting the point? Like somebody is going home with seventy thousand naira. Are you understanding why Nigerians are coming out to make the demands? But don't get it twisted. Seventy thousand dollars, seventy thousand dollars is not a chess play. So what is happening to Nigerian era? What is happening to our currency? I, for one, I witness Nigeria exchanging one dollar for seventy naira. Yeah, at least I, I had that experience. But right now, my, I'm, I'm seeing Nigerian era exchanging for one thousand six hundred naira currently, I'm still going up. Beyond how much Nigerians earn on monthly basis, on daily basis, we have high rate of insecurity in different parts of the country. In some parts of Nigeria, we have people flee their home. We have people scared of even traveling to their home. And you know, our road have become a nightmare all because of insecurity. We have things going on in different parts of Nigeria. In the, in the southeast Nigeria, we have the unknown government. In the north central, we have the bandits and all that going on in different parts of the country. And we have higher cost of living. Like, we can't even buy food items. Things are very expensive. You can see we are protesting. The Igbos are protesting. <laughs> On top of that, we have some Nigerians saying that this protest is none of our business. Our tribe called for us to vote for the right candidate during the election. But some tribes said no. So for that, it does not concern us. It does not affect us. We will be fine with or without the hardship going on. Why some tribes are saying this is protest is for us? We'll make sure this protest is successful. We'll do everything within our power to ensure this protest has a huge effect on the Nigerian government. Like Nigerians have different opinion concerning this protest. Speak to the people of Nigeria. You are crying is right. You are complaining of hardship is right. But is the solution found in carrying placard and lining the streets? Is the solution found in copying a country lesser than us? The references that are made today to Kenya and all the rest of them, they are smaller countries to Nigeria. We are giant of Africa. We must prefer solution that is better and sustainable and lasting. That solution is not found in our children being killed on the streets while protesting, is not found in our raising placard. It's found in supporting the policies of government and understanding that these policies need time to begin to materialize. If I should go on with listing why this protest is valid, this video would definitely not be enough to contain everything. I'm not sure you two want to wait and listen to everything, and I can't even say it all. Now, the problem is, who are those coming out to make this demand? And what are they demanding for? Every Nigerian on the street, just like me, you know, young and handsome. <laughs> just kidding. You know, when you see them on the street, and we talk about Nigerian issues, talk about things that affect you directly, things that affect me directly, and they feel like, you no, know, I'm not cutting for this discussion. I'd rather discuss football, I'd rather discuss things that will make me happy, rather than discussing Nigerian issues. At the end, they are the end consumers of this particular problem that the ones directly affected on this particular issue. On that day of protest, what is the mindset that Nigerians are coming in to, you know, to, to make that, 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 that request? What is the demand those average Nigerians know why they are making this protest? Let's take Kenya for instance. Kenya had a goal why they are coming out to protest, which we all know. Even I'm not a Kenyan, I know about what they are demanding for. Take answers for example, we had 
a request and SAS of which it came to pass. Are you getting the point now? Like, what is the demand? What are the things and bad governance? Like, what's bad governance? Shame on all of you. Shame on all the civil servants. How many times we, the children of this country, are protesting, fighting, and SARS. Now the children are still organizing again to go and protest on the streets to lay their life. About women protested. Right? Enugu coal miners protested. Abel Kuta women protested. Right? Nothing really changed. But it was the beginning of something. Those protests, what did they really do? They inspired the civil service, the working class. The Nigerian Labour Union was founded under Mike Imodu. Now, that same population where they say vote eh, is the same population you need for protests. Voting is the biggest number one protest. So, as they no protest that time, and they want to protest now. No, Allah. <laughs> the president. There are some people who are still in detention as a result of the NSAS protest. There were young people who were protesting for justice, for freedom, and for democracy. Any young protester in Nigeria today learn from you because you were the father of protest in Nigeria. Do something about it. Give them the freedom. You taught us, you funded us to stand up and fight so they are your children and your grandchildren. Give them the pardon. It's good for Chinubu to for the president to know his enemies. Not that somebody said. It is obvious now. Those people who want to pull the government of uh, uh, President Bolambe Chibuda want to count Nibu into it. For Nibu to join them to do protests. To, to see how they can destroy the government so they can take over. As a Nigerian, should I stand up and go out there and protest? Should I stand up and demand for the right of my own life and to that of my unborn children and to generation yet to come yes this is what you need to do as a nigerian because whatever you have today someone stood up and said enough is enough someone said i want a better future for you why you are not even here this is why you have most of the things you have today it is your own time to stand up and do the same for the generation yet unborn but the question is what is the motive of you going there do you even know why you're standing up to go out there and said enough is enough what is your true intention for this protest what is your driving force are you influenced because someone is in protest are you at home because someone spoke to your conscience someone who has personal interest in seeing you wallow in poverty wallow in hunger why are you joining this protest why are you not joining this protest that is what i want you to answer genuinely within yourself and you can also interact in the comment section i remember your boy who said i come your way again ensure you subscribe and follow this channel for more information and let me know what your thoughts are concerning this video is this something you want me to do more often i will gladly read your comments and put it and put them into action